Today we're ranking every single Blox fruit, but it'll be based on their actual abilities in the One Piece. And at the end, we'll be comparing it with an official Blox fruits tier list made by Amon Uzoth. And we must rank them based on the strength, weakness, and how well the user utilizes its abilities. Starting off with the rocket. Honestly, one of the coolest looking fruits in the game to me. And even the fruit itself, like look at this. You use the Z move, turn into Mega Man. Boom. Air strike, rocket crash, and of course, blast off. Now, of course, we all know there is no such thing as the rocket fruit in One Piece. The closest one, however, is the Buki Buki no Mi. So this fruit allows the user to pretty much turn any part of their body into weapons, such as this giant cannon right here. Could be a pistol, could even be a fork, because apparently that's a weapon on airplanes. Don't ask how I know. So its strength is definitely versatility, depending on what kind of weapon you want to turn into. There's not much known about its weaknesses at the moment. So based on what we know about this fruit so far, and considering the other sick fruits that are coming up, I will put this at a C tier. The second fruit that we have, another common, is the spin fruit. And all it does is spins around. In terms of the fruit itself, oh, it does is spin around. The range is absolutely atrocious. Also, is it me or does this thing look like an oddish from Pokemon? And in the world of One Piece, it is called the Guru Guru no Mi. And its user, uh, his name is Buffalo, which also happens to be on Doflamingo's crew. And just like his name suggests, spinning around is all it did. This man served absolutely no purpose in the anime whatsoever. Other than having the Doflamingo Jolly Roger on his teeth, that's pretty hardcore. In terms of strength, there are none. And in terms of weakness, it's it's useless. The spin fruit ends up in F tier. It's not very good in blocks fruits or one piece. Next up, we got the chop fruit. In terms of appearance, it's very abstract. Look at the stem just floating like it's got chopped off. And in terms of abilities, not only does it have attacks, it also has a passive that makes you immune to swords. Look at this. It's called body separation. But offense wise, I mean, it is pretty weak. It's not very good for grinding. It's more of a troll fruit. Look at that. It looks pretty funny. And of course, for this one, you somehow also turn into a helicopter. Now, in one piece, of course, the name Bada Bada no Mi reigns throughout the entire grind line because his owner is none other than Buggy D. Cloud. He is immune to sword attacks because he can just separate his body. But not only that, Buggy is also able to separate and control any part of his body telekinetically. I think the weakness is the chop fruit doesn't really grant any extra strength to the user in terms of offense. And that's why it's even more impressive that Buggy became an emperor of the sea just by his raw strength and talent alone. Alright, but all jokes aside, uh, chop goes to F. <laughs> Next up is another low tier a spring. There's not much to be said about it, the skills are very outdated, the animations are not smooth at all, it deals absolutely no damage whatsoever, not good for any purpose. I guess the only cool fact about this fruit is when you're bouncing across a bridge, it goes faster than the speed of light. In the anime One Piece, however, the Bane Bane fruit that was eaten by Bellamy the Hyena proves to be just as useless. Other than using the spring's momentum to make himself travel faster to land a direct hit on Luffy's fist with his face, he really did nothing with the fruit. Absolutely no creativity from Bellamy whatsoever. We do not see any upsides from the spring fruit at all, so it's gonna have to land in the F tier. So far, this is kind of looking like a Blocks Fruits tier list. Next up, we got the Bomb Fruit looking sick. In terms of the abilities, this was previously known as the worst fruit in the game, but they recently revamped it and actually made the abilities a lot better. Targeted Bomb, it got much better increased range. So honestly, I kind of grown to like this fruit over the years, but on the other hand, in One Piece, this Booger Bomb dude, Mr. Five, just really grossed me out. You mean to tell me he could turn any part of his body into a bomb and explode without taking any damage and all he does is flick his booger around? Easiest F I've ever given. All right, next up we have the smoke. It's our first Logia or in Blocks Roots, Elemental Fruit. The skills are undeniable for such a cheap fruit. You have great range with the smoke blast and smoke liberation and you also have a flight that travels pretty good distance and also deals damage at the same time. And its equivalent of course is the Moku Moku no Mi possessed by none other than the white hunter himself, Smoker. Overall, I just haven't seen anything great come out of Smoker. This man has simply taken way too many L's. It could be him, or it could be the fruit. So, uh, for now, the smoke lands in the C tier. Next up, we got the spike. This thing is looking like it's straight out of a Mr. Beast video. You couldn't pay me enough money to eat this thing. But at this point, this fruit is pretty much known as the Broke Boy's Dough Fruit. Like, if you don't have money for a dough, just use the spike. Like, you can't tell me this is not just a mini dough. Now, in the anime, the Toge Toge no Mi was eaten by Miss Doublefinger. I do do not want to know what that means. Now, this fruit has pretty good offensive and defensive capabilities as it could turn yourself into spikes to attack your enemies and also prevent your enemies from getting close enough to attack you. But overall, it was still pretty weak as she was defeated by pre-time skip Mami. <coughs> Nami. The spikes also don't seem like very deadly because they pierced Nami many times and didn't really seem to hurt her all that much. Could be power scaling. I have no idea. But based on what I've seen, the spike fruit goes into F. Finally, moving on to the oncoming category, we got the 
flame. The second cheapest elemental fruit you can get. The fruit design is pretty cool. I love the pirate hat on top of it. And the fruit itself is very, very good. Especially the awakening. It does pretty good damage. He can! Vertical he can! Okay, I missed that one. Like, come on, just look at this. Just summon a sun. And also the rocket flight is pretty fast. So although this fruit is decent and blocks fruits in the anime, it's actually seen as very overpowered and is wielded by none other than Portgas D Ace. If you ever wonder what the D stands for, it's donuts. It's been over 10 years. You cannot cancel me, Ace fan. Not only is it a Logia that prevents Ace from being hit by non-hockey users, also has insane damage output as demonstrated by Ace and Sabo later on. There was nobody that Ace couldn't square off against, except for a certain guy, which we'll talk about later on. It's also very practical, like we've seen Ace use it to power his small boats, and he can also start fires whenever he needed. I think the only downside is this fruit does have a natural enemy, and it's not water. But for now, Flame is our first very solid entry into the B tier. Next up, we got the Falcon. This fruit is pretty much useless in the Blocks Roots verse. There's not much you could do with it. The first move is literally just adding wings on your back so you could even start using the rest of the skills. Now, the Tori Tori no Mi eaten by Pell and Alabasta proved that it's much more useful in that One Piece anime. Pell was able to go full transformation or have a hybrid form that significantly increases his offensive and defensive capabilities as well as speed. Like, this dude was going so fast that his enemies couldn't even see him. And this man even took a nuke to the face and came out holding crutches. He's indestructible. And Blocks Roots is an easy F, but in the anime, a solid C. Another Logia we have is the Ice Fruit. This is actually one of the most popular fruits for grinding and PvPing, and it even has an awakening too. Look at it. It just looks cold. No pun intended. In terms of abilities, it has this uh, Ice Spear that helps with grinding in the first C. It has insane combo potential, making it really one of the best fruits in Blocks Fruit. But how does it fare in the One Piece universe? Well, it turns out the Hie Hie no Mi in One Piece is also insanely overpowered. And not only that, it is possessed by one of the strongest characters, Kuzan, or as they call him, Aokiji. It pretty much allows the user to create, control, and even transform into ice at will. And you can see him use it to freeze pretty much the entire Straw Hat crew and White Beer Tsunami, which is supposed to be indestructible. And its effect pretty much nullifies the weakness of Devil Fruit users that drown in water because he can just turn the water into ice. The only weakness of this nearly perfect fruit is having a natural weakness that is also shared by the flame fruit. We'll get into that later. And that is why it is not an S tier, but a very comfortable A. Next up, we got the sand fruit. I like the design overall. It's like melting like a quicksand. The fruit itself is an elemental, however, not as useful as the previous one, the ice fruit. Grinding is not so great with it. And also with the sand fruit, you drown twice as fast in water. Look how fast that was. In one piece, the fruit's name is the Suna Suna no Mi, and its user is none other than one of the strongest characters, Croco Ma. I mean, Crocodile. A former warlord, underground syndicate, leader of Baroque Works, and a casino owner. And now the current leader of Cross Guild. And as a warlord does, he has pretty much mastered his fruit to absolute perfection. This dude literally sucked the life out of Luffy. And it's one of the rare Logia fruits that actually gave him a power up for living in a desert kingdom. So he was even stronger on Alabasta. However, with strong power comes strong weaknesses. If you pretty much just dump a bucket of water on him or even just spit at him, his devil fruit is rendered useless. Honestly, because of its weakness alone, like F tier. It has no point of being even a Logia fruit. Everything is made out of water. All right, onto the dark fruit, weirdest looking fruit in the game. In terms of popularity, this is one of the best fruits for PVPs. It's absolutely perfect for chaining combos. It's pretty good in Blast Fruits, right? It's, it's okay, people like it. Well, in the anime, it is known as the strongest Logia in the entire universe. The Yami Yami no Mi is used by the Yonko Blackbeard and is known to grant the user with the most evil ability. It can generate dark holes and sucks everything into darkness. Pause. And that includes devil fruit abilities. As a devil fruit user, when the darkness touches you, it completely nullifies your devil fruit ability. It does come with a downside because darkness, you know, it swallows everything. Pause. And that means the dark user also absorbs attacks, making this damage way more painful. And Blackbeard also studied this fruit for years, so he knows exactly what its capabilities are and able to use it to its full potential. I think based on its unstoppable force and like unlimited potential to just suck everything in, this is gonna be our first S tier. Next up, we got the diamond fruit. Absolutely worthless on like a real diamond. Encrust! Yeah, dude, you literally have only three attacks and they barely deal any damage. Solar flare! Yeah, no redeemable features whatsoever. The Kira Kira no Mi, on the other hand, is been consumed by none other than the third division commander of the White Bear Pirates, Diamond Joseph! That fruit's encrust actually makes him like virtually untouchable. This guy was able to deflect the Mihawk slashing sword attack, which is like one of the strongest attacks in the world. In 
the hands of Jozu, who is very powerful. The only downside is it's not a Logia, so he can't just like make unlimited diamonds and just become super baller. So honestly, guys, just try not to think this is Blox Fruits. The Diamond Fruits gotta have a spot in the A tier, man. Next up, we got the Light Fruit, one of the best fruits in the game. It has elemental immunity, M1 click, and awakening, and insanely fast mobility. Now, let's talk about One Piece. The Pika Pika no Mi might even be more overpowered, and his user is another Admiral for Selino, or Kizaru. He can travel at the speed of light. On top of that, he could turn light into a physical form and attack opponents and hit them before they could even see what the hell's even happening. He took out an entire tree as Sabote with just one kick. The only weakness we could talk about with the Light Fruit is its user while using it can only travel in a straight line. Same goes with his attacks. He can only shoot light beams in a straight line, but because they go so fast, he'll never miss his target. I really want to say this is like a low S tier, but for now, we're going to put it a very high A. <laughs> it's time to sound the drums of liberation! Everything comes with rubber capabilities. You get the rubber cannon, the smash. In addition to all of that, because it's rubber, also makes you immune to guns. However, in the world of One Piece, it is known as the greatest fruit of all time. The Hito Hito no Mi, model Nika, aka the sun god. Warrior of liberation, joy boy. So this fruit, like I said, turns you into a god and allows you to do basically anything that you can imagine. Just think about something right now. Yeah, yeah, you could do that as long as you have the fruit. Like this dude, Luffy, when he awakened gear five, sun god mode, he was so sure that he got the W in the bag. He was laughing the whole way he was bodying Kaido. This man can throw thunder, turn into a giant, play Kaido around like a jumping rope, and turn everything surrounding him into rubber. This is the greatest power the world has ever seen. And remember how I said every fruit has its weakness? Well, this one apparently doesn't. And because of that, I think it needs a tier of its own. We are putting the rubber fruit into god tier. Next up, we got the barrier fruit. As you can tell, pretty much used as a trolling fruit at this point. Really not much use in terms of grinding or PVPs. It just kind of like yeet people with their barriers. And in one piece, the body body no me, which is used by our favorite character, Bartolo. Um, no, not this guy. Bartolomeo. My man just goes straight up domain expansion. He blocks like every single powerful attack. And not only that, very similar to his abilities and blocks fruits in the anime, he could push the barriers against opponents to attack them at will and also build structures for him to get to places that are harder to access. So he even has some offensive capabilities, but it's literally untouchable in terms of defense. So I would honestly just put that in the B tier. The ghost fruit. Boom. Okay, that was not scary. And neither is this fruit. It actually looks pretty adorable. It was recently revamped to turn into something that's unrecognizable from what it was before. Now, the Yomi Yomi no Mi in One Piece was eaten by, of course, Soul King Brook. And this fruit is very devious because it's absolutely pointless until you die. If you want to use the powers of the fruit, you have to get oof first. Because the main ability of the fruit is it gives you a second chance at life. I'm not even sure if that's a good thing. Yeah, no thanks. I would say the strength of it is you get to retain your soul and control it however you want. In the anime, you can see Brook have pretty much an outer body experience and have his soul wander around. Knowing Brook, there's only one place he's visiting. I'm not gonna mention it on this video. So I would say that is not a huge plus in exchange for literally dying. I'm gonna have to throw this in the F tier. I never wanna eat this fruit. But the same can't be said about the next fruit, the Magma. I think it is the highest damage fruit in the entire game. The damage output is insane. Insane for PvPs. Very, very good for grinding. Pretty good fruit overall. But you know what though? It's not as good as its counterpart in One Piece. The Magu Magu no Mi. The user is Akainu, currently Fleet Admiral of the Marines. One of the strongest Marines, if not the strongest. And its power is like the second most destructive in the world. The first place is actually coming up next. And what better person to have it than this... God, I hate this guy so much. The user wouldn't have eaten it. Not only gets the Logia effect, but has the ability to generate control and become magma. The hottest substance in the entire world. That magma just be cooking fire into a donut. And this dude, Akainu Fa Aokiji on Punk Hazard for 10 days and permanently changed half the island into just being covered by magma. I can't think of any weaknesses to this fruit other than the fact of it being just too damn good. Easy S tier for me. The Quake into the legendary category now. The fruit 
itself is in desperate need of a rework, guys. It's incredibly outdated, even though it does have an awakening, surprisingly. Overall, not that great. Now, let's talk about One Piece. Remember how I said the Magu Magu no Mi had the second most destructive power? Well, the Gura Gura no Mi has the first. And who better to have eaten it than Whitebeard, the strongest man in the world? This fruit gives the ability for the user to generate shockwaves and earthquakes through any medium. You could summon tsunamis that easily wipe out entire islands. There is a problem that comes with such destructive power though. When you summon a tsunami and your boys are with you, well guess what? They're drowning too. It's just impossible to control a classic case of suffering from its own success. I would give this a high B tier. Buddha! Like this is the best food for grinding, especially in late game. The awakened transformation turns into a giant Buddha and these NPCs pretty much they can't touch you. It's the best for fighting bosses as well. Surprisingly, this is a beast type in blocks fruits and in one piece, this is the human human fruit model Buddha, a mythical Zoan. These things are rarer than Logias. Not much is known about this fruit other than it lets the users transform into a giant Buddha that clearly has skipped every single leg day since the 5th century. And he also punched that dude one time. That was kind of satisfying. Other than that, he didn't really demonstrate any ability, strengths, or weaknesses. The only downside I could think of is let's say you're sitting on the toilet and you're going angry Hulk mode, turn into a Buddha. Your whole house is collapsing. So with this being hard to gauge, but the fact that it is a mythical Zoan, I think it would at least be like a top tier A fruit. Next up, we got the love fruit. What I recently did find out was that the love fruit has like one of the longest ranges in the game with its X move. You could pretty much like shoot it anywhere and you get to summon your best o friend though. Hey, it's my boy Crispy. Get him, Crispy. Yeah, get him. And of course, the flamingo ride. Pretty funny fruit, I would think. Now, the Mero Mero no Mi, the user is of course Snake Princess Boa Hancock. This fruit is actually overpowered. It has the ability to turn anyone that lusts after the user just into stone upon contact. And they just die. And as far as I can tell, you don't even have to touch the enemies. You can just shoot them with those love arrows like from a range too. And it does not matter how much weaker or stronger that opponent is. So in the hands of somebody who's very attractive, like Boa Hancock or maybe Zoro, it is just completely overpowered. In my hands, it's pretty much useless. I'm gonna have to put this in like low A tier. This thing is very, very strong in the right hands. All right, onto the spider fruit is a natural type fruit and has an awakening. Its moves are very good for combos, not so great for grinding. Look at that minigun. You can summon a minigun. The fruit itself, I would say, is very offense heavy, definitely more geared towards PVPs, not very useful for PVEs. Let's move on to One Piece. The Ito Ito no Mi, the user, the heavenly demon, former warlord of the sea, Don Quixote do Flamingo. When I first saw the fruit, dude was into some voodoo puppetry stuff and in Dress Rosa, he showed us the true potential of the strength fruit and it is overpowered. He uses them to fly, slice with multiple strengths, shoot strengths as bullets, create clones with strengths and even stitch his own wounds up with strengths and even create a massive birdcage that slowly closes and kills everyone with its vicinity. And to make matters even worse, this dude even awakened it, turning everything around him into strength with strength properties. I gotta give it an A tier, at least an A tier. Next up, we got the sound fruit. It's one of the coolest looking fruits in the world. I think the fruit is actually pretty good for combos. People don't really use it for grinding. The cool thing about this fruit is it has a tempo meter if you are able to fill it up. It gives not only yourself, but your entire allies insane boost. So the Oto Oto no Mi, the user, Apu, is able to turn any part of his body into musical instruments. And while playing those musical instruments, he is able to deal instant, unavoidable damage to his target. Could be in the form of slashes, impact, or explosions. Sounds pretty overpower, right? Not if you cover your ears. If you don't hear his musical notes, it does nothing to you. And for the Uta Uta fruit, Uta is able to simply sing as a form of a domain expansion and trap everyone in her magical dream world. That is also pretty overpowered. Unless she falls asleep, in which case the domain is gone and everybody comes back to normal. So not great, but also not bad. I will put them both at the B tier. All right, moving on to the next one. We got Phoenix. Look at this flaming blue ball of Phoenix. Very simple. This fruit turns you into a Phoenix. One of the few Zoan fruits that has an awakening. It deals pretty decent damage. I won't dwell too much on this fruit. The main ability being the blue flames, which can actually heal your health. Very much like its counterpart in One Piece, the Tori Tori no Mi model Phoenix, its current user, Pineapple the Phoenix. Very much like other Zoans, it allows the user to transform into a hybrid or full Phoenix form, giving them a boost in speed, a strength, and endurance. But what makes the Phoenix fruit stand out is the blue flames of resurrection. Pretty much it allows the user Marco to rapidly heal any injuries that he sustains during battle.
know. And also we can heal other people too. This is definitely more of a defensive healing oriented Zoan fruit because it doesn't really give Marco a leg up in terms of having special attacks. And for that reason, I think the Phoenix fruit stands at a very comfortable high B just like right under the quake and right above the lane. This is perfect. Whitebeard and his first and second division commanders in a row. Well, hello there. Next fruit we got is the portal. This has recently become one of the most popular fruits in the game because not only does it allow the user to travel to literally any part of the map, it also lets the user do some crazy combos and PVPs. I would say this is the fruit that has the best mobility, the M1 click, the portal dash, the quantum leap, and of course the world warp. Now, of course, the one piece is called the door door fruit, the doa doa no mi used by Blueno and CP9. And honestly, it's not very powerful. So pretty much the user can create a door that grants passage to another dimension. And he can even turn people into doors like he did to Luffy. But as far as I know, the doors themselves have a time limit. So you got to get out before you're trapped in a dimension like forever. And I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the doors range are pretty limited. So you can't travel across the seas like you can in blocks. Fruit. I would put the door fruit in C tier. It's definitely better than the Falcon. <laughs> the rumble fruit. This thing has just insane stunning capabilities. Every move it pulls just stuns your opponent. And check this out. Spirit Bomb! Now the Goro Goro fruit in One Piece is eaten by God Eminem himself. They like to call him Manel for some reason. And it is just a destruction machine. Eminem can pretty much generate unlimited amount of voltage at will. We saw this man just beam down lightning, smiting people like he's actual God, killing pretty much everybody he touches. And not only that, he's mastered the fruit to such an extent that he's able to transform into a thunder god and also use electricity to pump his heart back to beating when he died. And not only that, this fruit has pretty good practical use because you can see Enel pretty much powering a massive ship with his electricity. The only drawback to this fruit is of course his natural enemy, the rubber. And thank God Luffy had the rubber fruit because otherwise One Piece would have ended at Skypea. That's how strong Eminem was. I'm sorry, this is a S tier fruit. Next up, we got the pain fruit. The skills are very repetitive. The pain barrage, which is just like a bunch of small paws. And the pain nuke is just one big paw. And the torture is a red paw. Completely useless fruit, in my opinion. Well, in one piece, the Nikyu Nikyu no Mi, which is the paw paw fruit, is used by former warlord and current robot, Bartholomew Kuma. Anything that the paw touches will be pushed away at any force and any speed the user desires. Which is pretty crazy, but it doesn't just apply to physical objects. It applies to pain, illnesses, and even memories. So it seems like the only weakness this fruit has is it only applies to the user's paws and nowhere else on their body. I would definitely put this in the A tier. It would not be this high up in Blocks Roots tier list. Next up, we got the Blizzard fruit. So the Blizzard fruit is actually an elemental type and one of the most versatile fruits in the game because of its insanely high damage output. Look at that. Shuriken! And of course, the Blizzard domain expansion. Yuki Tenkai! In one piece, it is the Yuki Yuki no Mi, which is the snow fruit and its current user is Monate. Although it's a Logia fruit, snow really isn't known for dealing a lot of damage. Like, what are you gonna do? Throw snowballs at your opponents? And that is why Monate completely got obliterated. It is also much more inferior to Aokiji's ice fruit. Not much is known about the snow fruit's weaknesses, but it doesn't really have any strengths either. So I'm just gonna give it like a low tier B. All right, moving on to the mythical category. We're finally in the end game now. Right off the bat, the gravity fruit looks really cool. It's a meteor with its own gravitational pull, but it's not really good for mobs. And I don't think it's very good for combos either because there could be easily escaped. Now, the user of the Zushi Zushi no Mi in One Piece is another admiral, Isho, or as he's known as Fujitora. Having this devil fruit allows the user to create and control gravitational forces at any range he wants. And this can go from just moving small objects to levitating gigantic battleships. And there seems to be like no limit to the range of his gravitational force because this dude pulled a meteor out of space. If that's not gangster, I don't know what it is. And at the moment, I don't think there is any known weakness about this gravity fruit. So it's very overpowered. We are definitely putting this into the A tier. We have the mammoth. So you could transform into a giant armored mammoth and just like run around. You can also stampede and just like push your enemies back. This is actually pretty good for grinding. Now the Zozo no Mi is eaten by one of the three all-stars on Kaido's crew, Jack the Drought. So other than those physical stab boosts, I don't think the fruit really gives you any special abilities other than just like moving your trunk around to hit your opponents. It makes you huge and slow so you're an easy target and you can't escape attacks. Maybe that's why Jack is currently tied with Smoker for most L's taken. I would honestly put this in like not even the B but the high C tier is this not that good it's useless all right next up the T-Rex this thing is menacing an armored 
skeleton T-Rex with red eyes. And once you have it equipped, you even have a tail, you are able to M1 with it, which is a huge plus for a non-Logia fruit. And once your fury meter is fully filled up, you are able to transform into a massive T-Rex. This thing is a beast. Now in One Piece, we have not seen an actual T-Rex fruit yet, but we do have something that's really close. The real, real no me model Allosaurus. And this one's current user is X Drake. So this is once again an ancient Zoan that shares the similar physical traits as the other ones. Increased stamina, durability, speed, attack, all that good stuff. I would say what makes this Allosaurus fruit much better than the Mammoth, for example, is it makes the user very, very fast and agile. And for only that specific reason, I would put it like slightly above the Mammoth, above the C tier, and it'll land right in the B tier. All right, so now we got everybody's favorite PvP, 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 PvP fruit, the Doe. So there is absolutely no doubt about the capabilities of the Doe fruit. You could pretty much one-shot combo anybody that you meet in a public server as long as you do it right. This fruit is so good, in fact, that even before receiving its awakening, it was already one of the best fruits in the game for destroying your opponents. Now, how is it in One Piece? I think even non-One Piece fans know about the Mochi Mochi no Mi that is used by our favorite sweet commander, Charlotte Katakuri. It is a special paramecia that lets the user create, manipulate, and also turn into mochi at will. This is one of the first fruits that we saw was able to pretty much mimic Luffy's rubber capabilities in every single way, but make it even better. So Katakuri's moveset has like probably hundreds of skills. We can't even go over them all. The reason why it's a special paramecia is the user can also use it to mimic the effects of a Logia. Fighting the mochi user probably gave Luffy the toughest battle of his career. On top of the fact that Katakuri has it fully awakened so he could turn his entire surrounding into mochi. Now the only downside uh, apparently of having the mochi fruit is that the mochi you produce is technically edible so your opponents can just eat you. Yeah, this fruit is without a doubt in the S tier. Next up, we got the shadow fruit. In terms of the skills, this fruit has, again, great combo potential. It has a passive that is the Umbra meter that traps your opponents into the shadow and they just cannot escape. Now let's switch over to One Piece. The Kage Kage no Mi is a Paramecia fruit and its current user is former warlord Gecko Maria. So the main ability of Maria is being able to cut off the shadow of other people, making them unconscious and putting that shadow into a lifeless corpse, turning into a zombie army. And once he places the shadow into a corpse, that corpse now gains all of the abilities of the owner of the shadow. So like we've seen with Ors, he pretty much gained Luffy's personality and abilities. In addition to that, Moria can also control his own shadow at will, letting them battle on his behalf. The downside of this fruit is if the owner of a shadow is much stronger than the user, then they can't really control the shadow. So for example, if one of you guys had the shadow fruit, you wouldn't be able to control my shadow because I'm just like much stronger than all of you. And for that reason, I would give it a B tier. Moving on to the Venom. In terms of the fruit itself, it is one of the most popular fruits. Crazy AoE effects and high damage. It also has a Fury Meter, allows you to transform into a Hydra. Now, the Doku Doku no Mi in One Piece, the user Magellan, who is the Chief Warden of Impel Down, has mastered this fruit to absolute perfection. This man is able to generate lethal amounts of poison that will kill anyone upon touch. Magellan can even coat himself in a layer of poison so his opponents can't touch him, making this fruit virtually unstoppable. I mean, that is for the four hours out of the day that he's not sitting on the toilet. Because for the other 20, this man is just having straight chronic diarrhea due to the side effects of being poisoned. For that reason alone, I will have to put this in like the high F tier, guys. If you guys want to have 20 hours of diarrhea in exchange of being very strong, that's on you, okay? That ain't for me. Next up, the control. The room. And within the room, you're able to levitate any objects and smash on your opponent's head. Use the gamma rush, which is kind of like an ult. The problem with this though is you have to use all of the room's abilities within this control area. Otherwise, it will not work. In One Piece, the control was inspired by the Ope Ope no Mi, which is my personal favorite fruit in the entire One Piece universe. Its current user, of course, is the Surgeon of Death. Trafalgar D. Law very smartly uses the fruit's abilities during combat to swap himself out between other objects and people to dodge enemy attacks. He's also able to hit some very high damage attacks, which I'm not sure if it's from the fruit or just his skills, such as the injection shot and the gamma knife. He has mastered it to such a point where he was able to awaken its abilities. But wait, there's even more. What makes this fruit so sought after is because it has the ability to grant immortality to another person at the cause of the user's death. Another drawback to the fruit is the operating procedures in the room 
actually does not work against an enemy whose hockey is much stronger than yours. But nonetheless, OP it is, and that's why it lands itself in a high S tier. Probably higher than the dark, honestly. All right, Spirit Fruit coming up next. We got a devil and an angel on our shoulders. Great for PvPs, not so great for grinding or just NPCs and leveling up. Moving on to One Piece, the Soru Soru no Mi is used by a former Emperor of the Sea, Big Mommy. It gives the user the ability to manipulate other people's souls, and then these souls can be planted into inanimate objects, such as like a tree or a flower. The craziest part, though, is if Big Mom gets a hold of you, she can pretty much pull out your soul and take away any amount of your lifespan. The biggest downside of this fruit is the opponent has to be afraid of you for it to work, because if I ain't shook, you ain't taking my soul away. Very versatile fruit. Uh, the fact that Big Mom is very powerful, I would say it's like low A tier. Moving on, we have the dragon fruit. When the fury meter fills up, you can also transform into a giant dragon. Look at this fire shower. What the hell? It just takes up the whole map. Now in One Piece, we actually have not seen an official dragon fruit yet, but what we do have is the fish fish fruit model azure dragon that is used by Kaido, another former emperor of the sea. Apart from giving the transformed user raw strength, speed, and durability, what sets apart the fish fruit from other mythical zoans is it comes with the abilities of a mythical dragon. Firing heat blasts out of your mouth or summoning flame clouds that can lift up entire islands. On top of the ability to fly, and of course Kaido being the strongest creature, he has mastered this fruit. Every single skill that he deals is just deadly. Similar to other Zoan fruits, this transformation is just way too big. But when somebody sees a massive dragon the size of an island, they wouldn't want to get close enough to find out if they could hit it anyway. With that reason, it's not really a weakness. I would put this fruit as like a very high S tier. Alright, we're actually at our second last fruit, believe it or not. This is a leopard fruit. The fruit itself is a beast type, absolutely overpowered. Turns you into a leopard, you just spam M1 and all of its attacks. It's got crazy range, got insanely high damage, and an M1. What else can you ask for? Overall, one of the best fruits in the entire game, in my opinion. However, in the world of One Piece, the Neko Neko no Mi model leopard is just another Zoe. It's not a mythical or an ancient. It's just a leopard, and its current user is, of course, Rob Lucci of Cypher Pole. The fruit itself, though, gives pretty standard power-ups. Doesn't really give any other cool abilities, like a dragon would. The only thing that makes the leopard seem cool in the anime is not because of the fruit itself, but it's user Luchi, who is a master of the Rokushiki six powers fighting style. So the fruit itself doesn't really stand out in the world of One Piece. I would say it's, it's probably more mobile than the Mammoth, but not as strong as a T-Rex. I'll put it like top C tier. This tier list is crazy to look at if you have like no context of what we're doing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now onto our final fruit, the Kitsune. And of course, the abilities speak for itself. This fruit has many abilities other than its skills just being incredibly strong. It is, I think, one of the fastest fruit in the entire game. Against popular opinion, in the world of One Piece, the Kitsune is actually not based on Yamato's fruit. There is a Kitsune fruit that is currently used by Katarina Devon of the Blackbeard Pirate. However, at this moment, we know next to nothing about this fruit, so let's just talk about Yamato's fruit anyway. Which is the Inu Inu no Mi model Okuchi no Makami. I'm only level 1 in, in Japanese on Duolingo, guys. Give me a break. But pretty much, it is a mythical Zoan legendary wolf that is said to be the guardian of Wano. It has the ability to generate ice and use it as a form of attack. And at this moment in time, we still don't know much about this fruit or any of its weaknesses. Um, all we know is Yamato is a beast. The fact that it is a mythical Zoan alone and Yamato was able to use it to hold off Kaido for like a little bit, I would put this in like the A tier, maybe right below the Buddha. And with that, our tier list is finally complete. But wait, we still have one more fruit to go through before we finish it off. And that is, of course, the mythical Kilo Bird. <laughs> Easy entry into the god tier, I will put it above the sun god fruit, and that is our final list. All right, the final, final part, we gotta compare this list to Uzot's official block fruits tier list. Yeah, <laughs> these two, they look nothing alike. So in the god tier, no matches here. This man did not even have the kilo per on his list. In the S tier, we got Dragon and Rumble. Those are the two matches. A, I think the only match we got is the ice fruit. In the B tier, we matched the sound fruit. And we got Chop Spring and Spike in the F tier, the tier with the most matches. Well, there's a perspective to you guys if you ever had thought, hey, how close is Bloxfruit's power scaling to One Piece? Not close at all. 